really like the purple shoes, but they cost as much as one month of my rent. Oh, and they're purple. And you know what, I'm pretty certain that that haircut is going to cost that dog more than it's going to cost me to get my haircut. Frightening. Frightening! I ain't gonna let my baby go back to that red girl. Stole my mind and why not let my baby go back So behind me is the Imperial Palace, one of the major sites of Tokyo. And guess what? It, uh, it's not worth seeing. Uh, take a rain check or just come here, get as close as I am, take one picture and go. You can't go inside except for very rare occasions, uh, like uh, New Year's Day. And uh, there's really not much to see. It's just a big uh, moat, and that's about it. And the Imperial pa Palace Garden, also a big lamer. Uh, it's like Tokyo Tower. Everyone knows about it. It's fairly famous, but actually not really worth checking out, in my opinion. Um, there are more ancient places to see, and we will see them. You see, east of this palace is really what used to be the uh, quarters for the uh, you know regional lords, uh, and they had to keep a family in uh, Tokyo under the watchful eye of the shogunate. Uh, so basically if they did anything screwy off of their little prefecture, off in uh, the countryside, uh, you know, their family would be killed. Uh, so that kind of prevented them from, I guess, doing anything naughty. Uh, but now it's become a shopping area. Uh, it's actually a business area as well, but the daytime, it's all about shopping, and at night, it's all about uh, drunk businessmen uh, singing karaoke and eating chicken on a stick. Uh, I don't really like shopping and I have no money, so. There's not much for me here. Uh, but that being said, there is actually a lot to see in the Ginza area. Um, things I recommend just offhand are the uh, International Forum, which is a beautiful big glass building, uh, and they have events and trade shows and stuff there. Um, I also recommend the Sony building. The Sony building has all sorts of uh, crazy stuff there, like um, showrooms with new products and things like that. They also have uh, one of the first British pubs in Japan, which actually, as the story goes, uh, some Japanese developer went to the UK, went into an old looking British pub and said, we would like to buy all of your old furniture and replace it with new furniture, as long as we can keep the old furniture. And the owner of that bar said, uh, okay. And so one man's trash was another man's treasure and they moved all of the uh, chairs, furniture, paneling and whatnot to uh, Japan, where it's now, uh, the accoutrement for a $10 beer. Um, and let's see, uh, other places you want to go is the Nissan showroom, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's also uh, something I strongly recommend, go to the Kotsukaikan building, which is directly in front of Yurakicho Station. And you'll find the Japanese uh, National Tourist Association's uh, information center. You can get a listing there of every major event and festival in Tokyo for the month. It's a great list. There's so many cool events going on in the city that are hard to find out about. But that list that they have there, free, and they also can make reservations for hotels and stuff for you. Oh, really worthwhile. So definitely check that out. I'll see if I can put a link to it on the side there. Um, definitely worth checking out. So this is my favorite coffee shop in Tokyo. It's right here on the corner of uh, Ginza Yonchome. And uh, you have a great view. And most importantly, it's good for people watching. The best reason is because there's this small stone statue of a cat next to the uh, cafe here. And as legend goes, uh, depending on where you touch the cat, your love life will change. So for example, if you stroke the cat's back, your lover will return. If you touch his face, uh, you will find a new lover, and so on. You can imagine the other parts of the cat. Uh, anyway, um, it's kind of cool to sit here and watch uh, occasionally a girl walk up and touch the cat in the affected area. And uh, also there's a police station right here, so it's fun to watch the uh, officers uh, dispense justice. Uh, and of course, uh, just a big corner, so you get to see lots of human trafficking. <laughs> That's exactly like the right word for it, but actually, in Ginza, as I said, there's a lot of money, so that might be the right word for it. Um, yeah, and uh, it's basically a good place to sit and write. I'm actually very excited because I went to Itoya. Itoya is my favorite paper shop. Uh, I have a weird thing for paper and uh, pens, and I got 
a new notebook, which is exciting. I've only ever seen this type of notebook in Japan. Basically, there's no spine to the notebook. It's uh, made for uh, Buddhist monks to write chants so that they can write them continuously and not have to like turn the page when they're chanting. Uh, I use it for uh, writing like comedy material because because it's cool. Do I need another reason? And uh, I got a cool pen. <laughs> So I, I'm kind of giddy. But now that I have a new notebook and a new pen, I feel like I need something, something new to write. So that would be other big things uh, at the paper shop. Paper shop uh, is going to be really busy today because uh, it's just before uh, New Year's. And New Year's is the time for Ningajo, uh, Japanese New Year's cards. And they send a damn lot of New Year's cards. I know people who send upwards of a thousand cards on New Year's. Seriously, like that thing. It sounds uh, frightening, but it's true. Uh, they send them for family, relatives, work. I mean, salesmen have to send them to all their clients. Uh, people do them on computer now more and more often. And you're allowed to get out of it if a member of the family dies. It's the one, it's the one way to get out of uh, making New Year's cards. Uh, but basically, it's a big pain in the ass, and everyone spends a lot of money on it. Uh, this year is uh, the year of the rat. The year of the rat. Uh, so all of the New Year's cards are decorated with uh, rats. So, just so you know. Year of the rat. Hope you have a cheesy one. Uh, uh, $5 for a nice tea, that's also kind of crazy. But you're really paying for real estate, not a beverage. Anyway, I guess that's pretty much Ginza in a nutshell. Uh, oh yeah, and the Kabuki Theater. Don't forget, it's also Kabuki Theater. Alright, alright. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones A mind that's weak and a back that's strong You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul to the company store I was born one morning when the sun didn't shine I picked up my shovel and I walked to the mine I loaded 16 tons a number nine coal And the straw boss said, well, to bless my soul You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in debt St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul It's I was born one morning, it was drizzling rain Fighting and trouble are my middle name I was raised in the cane break by an old mama line Can't no high-toned woman make me walk the line You load 16 tons, what do you get? Another day older and deeper in death St. Peter, don't you call me cause I can't go I owe my soul This is a very narrow street Very narrow I love that place I really, really love that place Ah, you know what? I'll admit, sometimes I really God love Japan. God I love God. Japan! One fist of iron, the other of steel. If the right one don't get you, then the left one will.